Hello and welcome to a brand new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This time we're taking a look at effects presets. Now, in the past, you could very simply save certain settings for specific effects and then you could apply those uh, presets to other clips. However, now you can actually have multiple stacks of effects inside one preset, so it's very quick and easy to apply uh, multiple effects and changes that are giving you your final look to an array of clips and effects. So if we take a look at this clip here, it's got, um, it's got some balancing uh, in the form of a color correction, and then it's also got magic bullet film applied to give it a filmic quality afterwards. So these two um, effects, the color correction and the magic bullet film, are what are creating the final look. So I want to store this into a single uh, preset that we can then apply later on in this project and also to other projects because I think it's a really useful look to have. Now to save this as a preset you just want to make sure that you've got your clip selected which we have and then you want to go to file save video effects preset and then it's going to give you some toggle options and you can see that by default it just has the effects turned on and, but if we had any effects applied to the transformation, for instance, or cropping, then you would be able to add those as well. Now, one instance where this could be really useful in terms of the uh, conforming, so such as the crop and the transform tools, is that let's say you've got a very specific version of the Ken Burns effect. Adding the Ken Burns effect takes a few clicks. So imagine if you had the Ken Burns uh, set to a linear movement, by default and that was a, just an effect that was available to you. I know that's really useful and that's something that I have uh, set up as a preset for myself. But let's just say we want to take these two clips. We can very simply give this a name. So we're going to say Magic Bullet Film, not Film Magic Pro. Okay, so then we get to choose where, what category it's going to go under. So by default it's under Basics, but this is definitely a color correction. So we're going to add it to here. And then what we can do, we got two more options to maintain timing or stretch to fit. So this is if your clip has any kind of um, transformation applied to it uh, or any kind of animation, do you want to maintain the timings or stretch the animations uh, to fit the clip? We can just go ahead and press save. And now if we click on the effects browser tool and then click on color, you can see we've now got color balance and well, it doesn't give us the rest of the title but we know that's our clip horrendously typed by me now what we can do is we can grab this and we can drop it on another clip and now if we click on this clip we can see it's got our color correction this is now the third color correction to this clip and also the magic bullet film applied to it and if we undo but with command c you can see those two effects disappear so that is your effects presets inside of Final Cut Pro 10. It's super handy now. And if you ever can't find it, all you need to do is click in help and then you can start typing in save preset. And you can see it gives us a shortcut to save the video effects presets. And it works exactly the same with audio. So let's say we have some effects on here. We do actually have a, uh, a volume effect. We can press file, save audio effects preset. And it's gonna give us an option to save the volume keyframing that we have applied to this clip as an audio preset and then that will live down here in the audio. Now if you ever want to delete any of your effects and presets then what you need to do is right click on the effect, press reveal in finder, this is going to take us to our uh, file and then we can literally just delete this, we can press command backspace, there it goes and that's it. Anyway hopefully this was useful, you guys take care and I'll see you soon in a brand new tutorial.